Hey there, my name is Victoria and in this video you will learn 7 ways to solve error certificate date invalid message. Error certificate date invalid is an error message that appears when there's an issue with a website security certificate. Normally a website is considered protected when it has an SSL certificate. The main function of the certificate is to ensure the exchange data is encrypted between the website and the user. However, this certificate contains an expiration date after which it is considered invalid. Therefore, the error mainly occurs when a browser detects the website's expired security certificate or the date and time on the user's device are incorrect. Don't worry if you ever run into this error message. Fixing it only takes a few simple steps. Let's go over the 7 ways you can try to solve it. If you're a website owner, you can check the validity of your SSL certificate by using something like SSL Shopper. You just need to enter your domain name and wait for a few minutes as the tool analyzes it. The tool will show green check marks if no errors are found, which indicates that your SSL certificate is still active and valid. If that's the case, I'll talk about other ways to fix the error later in this video. Otherwise, if the tool displays an issue, it means your certificate issuer is potentially illegitimate or your domain name doesn't match the one listed in the certificate. To fix this, uninstall your SSL certificate and obtain a new one from a trusted issuing authority. Hostinger provides a lifetime free SSL certificate when you sign up for any of our web hosting plans. Another method to try is clearing the SSL state on your operating system. When visiting a website, your computer stores a copy of that site's SSL certificate. Sometimes it uses incorrect or outdated details that lead to errors. Clearing the SSL state removes any cached SSL certificates and related data which can help resolve issues with outdated ones. If you use Windows, enter Internet Options in the search box and click Open. Go to the Content tab and click Clear SSL State. If you're using a macOS device, use the Spotlight Search feature to open Keychain Access and head to Certificates. Here identify and remove all SSL certificates potentially causing the error. They should be marked with red X icon. An incorrect system date and time can lead to certificate validation failures. To fix this, check whether the time on your computer or device is set correctly. This method is simple yet crucial as web browsers rely on the operating system's time to determine a certificate's validity period. To adjust the time and date on your Windows device, open the Start menu and type in Change the date and time. Make sure to turn on the Set Time Automatically toggle and click Sync Now. For macOS users, you'll need to open the Apple menu. Then head to System Preferences and select Date and Time. Mark the Set Date and Time Automatically checkbox. Refresh the browser to see if the error has been resolved. Cache data and cookies stored by your browser can sometimes cause conflicts with SSL certificates leading to the error. Clearing them can resolve such conflicts. In this example, I will demonstrate how to do so on Google Chrome. If you need a guide to clearing cookies and cache on Mozilla Firefox, you can watch our video about that linked in the description below. Click the three dot menu button on the top right corner. Then choose settings. Click privacy and security from the left side menu. Select clear browsing data. Tick cookies and cache in the pop-up menu, then hit clear data button to finish the process. Refresh your browser to see if it resolves the error. Some browser extensions can interfere with the SSL certificate validation process, which leads to the error. Temporarily disabling them can help identify if any extensions is causing this issue. To confirm if that's the case, open the website using an incognito window. If the website works, you will need to identify the conflicting extension and delete it. Click on Extensions button here and select Manage Extensions. Select the newest extension first and deactivate it. If that doesn't solve the issue, try disabling others one by one. Once you find the conflicting extension, remove it. Your VPN or antivirus software can mislead the web browser to scan a certain date and time and trigger the error message. 
turning off your computer's VPN or antivirus software for a short time should fix this issue. I don't recommend disabling antivirus permanently as it will make your computer vulnerable to cyber attacks. As for disabling VPN, security concerns may differ depending on your situation. The steps to turning off your antivirus vary according to what software you are using, so make sure to check the official documentation. The same goes for disconnecting a VPN network, however, you can also accomplish this within your computer settings. If you use Windows, type VPN in the search bar, then click VPN settings. On the page, choose your connected VPN network and press disconnect. For macOS users, click the Apple icon and select system preferences and network. From the left panel of the network window, choose your currently connected VPN then press disconnect. Your internet service provider usually uses its own DNS servers, but you can change this for a short time. This can also be accomplished if you're facing certificate validation errors. In this case, changing to a different DNS server can help resolve these issues. This time, I'll use Google's public DNS, which is free to use. If you are a Windows user, go to Network and Internet, select Network and Sharing Center, and change adapter settings. Then choose your internet connection and select properties. Double click internet protocol version 4 in the pop-up window. In the Wi-Fi properties window, select use the following DNS server addresses. For the preferred DNS server, enter a.a.a.8. For the alternate DNS server box, enter a.a.4.4. Click OK to continue. If you use macOS, go to system settings, Select Network in the sidebar and choose your network service. Then click Details and choose DNS. Then click on the plus button and enter a.a.a.8. .a .a .8. Then a.a.4.4. .a .4. Press OK to implement the changes. So that's how you can solve the certification date invalid error. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Hostinger Academy for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and good luck on your online journey.